down now as they try to find some space on site. But this is acting fast in the pistol round. Montessori's worked his way out of sight. He's got a nice shot working for Tree, but Nitro through the smoke claims two of his own. No spike control now as they're going to need to try and get that down. No true rotation from the KJs just yet either. Boy with some good forward positioning, right but there's here. still a problem over by the door lever here. Boy has to try and spot it out. He finds it, it's Nitro, and he One goes down, but an immediate ball. response is found Last from Hiko, and the jump shot from the Classic as well. The takeout Boy bringing this down into a 1v1. Taking a look at Vice here. Trying to maintain control over the situation, but no, he goes too quick, immediately jumps out with the ghost clutch there to shut things deal and no chance to back out of there either. So just has to take the death in kind. At least was able to counter out the run it back, but unfortunately only the ult being taken down for his troubles on the inside of Hut there. Set with a nice pick against Asna as the rest of Hundred Thieves try to rotate their way back in. Nitro will find a good opener, but the problem is Mata still has control of the market stairs and now the actual pit stairs here too as he's going to try to rotate himself into position to shut down Nitro. We'll get it done. There's a good exchange from Hiko, but it matters not. Three more players from Anbok, as you can see, most notably on Asna there. But on the fence shouldn't be the end of the world. As you can see, he still has great capability to swing out into the open there. Takes down his doppelganger on the other side, Mata going down first in this round, but it's all just poking for info at this point. They do have the spike on that side of the map, but it seems that the players over here at A-Main have made a lot more forward momentum, having the peak into vain, trying to bait something out from Ethan or another member of 100 Thieves on the site, but so far 100 Thieves not taking the bait on that, and all this posturing, just giving time for Steel to, I'll do that, wrap around the corner, get a quick headshot off onto Boy. Asa shuts down the other player on the B side of the map too, but Steel doesn't necessarily expect there to be a second player holding in main, so Seb is going to be able to at least get the trade. It's been a great round so far from 100 Thieves as he continued to shut down and box every step of the way. No one able to make it through either mains on either I side of the spike. map. Instead, they've now defaulted just a mid-take, trying to work their way up. And I really hope that you guys can see because I cannot. <laughs> yeah, we'll work to get that real quick. And there we go. Just a momentary glitch, but we're all good. We're back now, folks. I'm a 20 seconds left. Couldn't have come back at a better time either. 100 Thieves. Looking to seal the deal on their third round here. Anbox trying to vie for something with 15 seconds left. This is going to be a tough push and more importantly, a rushed push. Our mistakes are often made here. Paranoia coming out from Nitro. Not really a winner here. He's not going to be able to find full contact, but at least he gets the angle advantage. They're traded out by Vice. Really no time left. Not going to be able to get that spike down on the ground. We'll have to take the L and try to come in from Nitro back at Tree also. Seb smart about that though. Oh, it's like it's King that is anyway. Here where he's now going to be revealed. Oh, and despite the paranoia going out, Ethan able to dodge it, finding the pick on Seb regardless. And 100 Thieves really asserting control over the site. And Box just trying to move their way in on Vice. Let's try and get these frags. Please, for as many rebuys as possible. Joy, anyway, at the same time, lockdown gonna be countered. We'll have a Hunter's Fury come out from the attackers in order to deal with that. Mata gets the entry onto site here, too. And they'll actually detain a player still too close to the site as well. Their plan's gonna go down without much of an issue. Hunter Thieves need to play for retake here. Spike now planted an opportunity, but the flank already covered Asuna with no chance to try and get that to go off. So now it's down to the rest of 103 Thieves. Hiko, Nitro, and Ethan. As they reclaim top space, actually attempt to work their way onto the site, but it's going to be the split take instead. Still worried about Tree, and, and well, should be. You need to worry about that ice wall, but the trades already ensue. Hiko with one, but boy, able to pick up another. It's all. finally got the rifle round. They're equal here. A curveball out is more pressure from 100 Thieves into B main, and yet again, it works in their favor. Two big frags. As Seb is now the lone man over here on side of B, but... Seems as though ult has worked out. Oh, actually, no. Asuna with some info, but he doesn't know exactly where he is. Sub gets one from Boathouse, and he's got strong pressure. Now 100 Thieves actually lacking in the defensive department. It's only Ethan on site for B. Oh, no. Needs help from his teammates. Turret out, and he's getting flooded. Oh, no. It's full B control now for Anbox. 100 Thieves have to risk the retake. The scan so fatal there is it allowed Seb to spam in from the back of the hut. Massive damage going on to him, and the only real player that can stop this plant from going down, eliminated without able to trade out too much damage in the process here. Zeno Steel with a nice re-entry. Vice trying to play aggressively, pays the price for it, as he's able to eliminate him. That's the team working their way in. Some more spam coming out, and I think it does significant damage to Boy in the process here as well. Burt will go down, smoke over it. Still managed to get a lock on one of the players, though, and they'll execute upon that. Steel trying to work his way in, but no. Seb gets the better of him, but before going down, Steel was able to grab Boy. Nitro, though, a straight here on the curveball coming in from Asta. 
trying to work their way forward. A bit of an awkward timing for both teams, and ultimately Mana finally going to come out on top of this engagement. That's a big deal here. Normally, Endbox has been on the losing end of this initial duel. Mana's going to be able to move in. Ye will support from that top window as he's going to self-boost himself up with the barrier orb. However, no one's been able to check stairs as a result of this. The run it back expires. He might have got a quick glimpse of Higo before it goes down, but he will reveal himself anyway. Steel has the cutoff by spawn route, but still, Mata on point here, immediately trading out these kills and keeping himself in the fight. Well, there's a man you want on site to lock it all down. It's got to be Hiko. He goes for the second, but it's Mata for four instead. Throws down the hot hands, and it's Seb to seal the deal. Mata, what a play. The, the execute finally comes out, but Hiko with the Hunter's Fury doesn't actually find anybody. Instead, it's Boy and Mata who execute onto site. Not only take out Hiko in the back spawn, but also does the setup for the plant. Nitro on stairs, able to find one. Knows where the spike went down as well. He's good for two. Not able to seal it out just yet. Goes for the smoke. Immediately starts to try and get rid of this spike. Goes for the defuse, but the Hunter's Fury now. Inside of this one versus one. Low HP. Has to try and get away from the shock dart, but pretty much immediately by Steel's utility. So he's actually gonna get aggressive. Swings out. He's able to catch Mata unawares. Yay, immediately there for the exchange. I have the lockdowns getting volleyed back and forth there. No one actually getting a hit by it. So Ethan still going to be able to play aggressively from up on top of the rafters. Box counters. My boy, however, and he's going to continue his rampage as he shuts down. Oh no, Pico with a huge misread here. Doesn't know that someone's inside him. Wine, and he's able to get one. Mata with the curveball now. Possibility to get two, but oh no, the swarm just too strong for KJ. Yeah, steal on point with these nano swarms here, fending off multiple players. We saw it in the previous round. We're going to see it again here to deal with the threat in the back of the cubby. Mice playing up close and personal here on contact from A main, but only able to translate the one for one. Trade going back and forth, though. Leave us to the hundred thieves. Do not try to burst their way directly into the site. Mata, some unfortunate timing here, and it's not just him as well. Vice and Seb also in the area. All three of them going down to just a walk-in entry from 100 Thieves on Cat. That's going to give them free control of the A site. Completely unchallenged here by Nbox. I don't even really know if they're going to be able to buy for a retake here. Boy having himself the pistol. They might just go for it considering that this is not a full investment round for all players to get. So I don't know exactly what the money's looking like, but already seeing Ye get shut down. Boy not too far behind either. Here Hiko trying to get info. Does spot the one player by Dan. He's got Hunter's Fury ready to follow it up here as well. Should be able to find the lockdown of Amada. One final shot just being taken to the inside of Tree. Just need to get lucky with one more tag and not going to happen. And now the problem is that Hunter's Fury response not really finding the damage it needed to. Only tagging Nitro on the third and final shot right there. The two remaining players from Anbox once again forced out of the site, forced out of any attempt to stop this take or at least deal damage to the 100 Thieves roster in the process of it and left with really any option to fully commit themselves to a retake. So they are going to back up to mid, start to commit to a save. Steel knows this. He's already in mid in the meantime here, catching out Ye from top market, shutting him down, leaving only Boy in the fight now. And Boy's going to attempt to save this rifle. If it can be done, but... Obviously, Steel might find it, but I don't even think it's going to be him first. It might honestly be Ethan, but he's looking the wrong way. Not towards mid-gates, but it's actually going to be Asuna, who's already wrapped. 100 Thieves, the early advantage yet again. You're in a very important round for Nbox, starting to fall behind. 100 Thieves getting very close to that penultimate point here. It's only two away from 12 at this point. Paranoia working its way out in the meantime for 100 Thieves, but Ethan not really able to find the right to initiate at least onto the first player. He initiates onto him, but the problem is the two stack always catching players when you double stack in this corner here. So Seb will be able to find the exchange upon that and overall force back the aggression for Manbox, forcing them to go for an A plays. This was all a fake. Nitro's going to be able to port himself in. He still ends up getting caught by Ye after working his way onto the site there. Oh. Asuna with the quick trade throws the hot hands onto the ground. Ye's too low to get out of it. Vice as well though, moving in here very quickly, keeping the pressure on 100 Thieves, disallowing them from getting into a solid post plant positioning. Asuna and Steel now having to both play this from the inside of Hell. Dark Cover going to block off the one end. They will put their turret down to act as early alert, specifically to an A main push, but the swing from the door will be caught as well. It allows Asuna to take a deeper angle, but he wants to. There we go. Has to line up against Vice. The run it back is actually caught. He's going to go down on the response as well on the respawn there, but Steel ready to take on the challenge. He shuts down Seb, prevents the clutch, and more importantly, puts the... He works his way out. Nitro. We'll try to take contact here, but... I said, nobody on Anbox wants the challenge. Eco, going to work out here too, but more just info. Now, here comes the pressure. 
up on Cat. Steel finds the first pick. Immediately a wild swing for Mata to try to make up for the loss. And it's not going to work. Steel finds that trade as well. Thieves working their way in here. Free plant to go in their favor. And Nitro immediately catching the flank from Ye due to the continued tree control. Look at this. It's so smooth from Nitro. Locks on to the head of Seb to take him down also. Leaving just Boy now in a 1v5. Pretty much an impossible situation. He'll do what damage he can here, but where does he even start? It's like a hundred thieves are just so strong on the entry, and Nitro's there on the lurk just to just slide the di the, the di uh, excuse me the dagger just a little bit deeper in the chest. It's such a hard situation for Anbox to fight back from, and once one down here. And unfortunately, due to the forced investment from Anbox in the previous round, they're not going to be looking much better on this one here. We've got multiple bulldog buys coming in on Ye and Seb. Still got control. They've been able to get for themselves here. Not a lot of info on the boost though. That's a little bit dangerous. They've got to be careful of close contestion. Thankfully, Ethan finds one at the last second. Boy escapes his days, though, but is now going to look for the trade after he picks one up. Never mind, it'll come from Hiko instead. That's full site control. Going by the way of 100 Thieves. Just need to close out the 4v2, and the map is there. Spike planted. A scary situation now Last for Anbox as they face first map point, and Hiko going to make it more You're difficult. Seb, one versus four that he must win. The Hunter's Fury already going off as well. Tries to make the play, avoiding the wall and avoiding getting locked out in what soon could be a terrible situation, but now it's a hundred thieves who get aggressive onto site. They take down one and they have the spike plant. Default plant works its way onto the ground here. The members of Anbox trying to work their way back in. They do have a pinch against the showers position here, but Nitro gonna be able to find another kill before finally more impact is made on Anbox's side. The player that went down for Anbox was the other side of that showers pinch, so no longer is it gonna be strong. Seb, the only kill to come from out from the Anbox roster in a while here, is now gonna put himself into a 1v2. There's the tag to bring out Hiko, and it works! He even gets the info on Nitro as well, so gonna be able to isolate this into the 1v1. He has the turret to assist on info, but now, I'm getting low, he needs to get aggressive, swing it up, that's a lot of damage going on to him, but he reverses it anyway, shuts down Nitro, the only question left is if he has enough time, and I think he might have just enough, it's gonna be so close here for Sam. Touch when it comes to that one, sometimes not fully investing into it, but Mbox are of the opposite camp saying, no, nah, we're gonna spend all of our money here to really shut you guys down, and so far, that's working out pretty well here, Seb dominating on the inside of Hookah. Boy, similarly coming in for the assist there to take down Hiko to make sure Vice would be able to stay alive and stay up as well in that situation there. Steel will at least get some revenge. He'll take down Mata. He's trying his best to work it here with the pistol, but being pushed, getting seeing some cool things come in from certain squads, like an Ares coming in every once in a while, or even a rifle with a light armor. But uh, this round now popping off already is we already have a trade go back and forth. That's Mata for Steel. Yeah, a short takes direct contact between those two players, and they'll trade each other out. Both going down out of that scenario there. Nitro and the rest of 100 Thieves, though, ready to move in very, very quickly through the garden route over here at B main. They'll walk their way in. Seb, ready for the challenge potentially, but Paranoia is going to completely blind him out. See the Nano Swarm work its way in, taking slight amounts of chip damage there. Won't matter not as he gets himself into the engagement. Is he still able to line up the one for one? Ethan on the repeat, though, finds Ye also. Some more big moves coming out here from 100 Thieves to make sure they're able to assert their dominance. Pull that sight. Might gonna go working its way onto the ground here. Vice and Boy trying to aggressively retake though. This is what I talked about with Anbox. They don't care about the normal rules of engagement. They don't want to wait for the right time. They want to get in the face of the 100 Thieves roster and try to shut them down. Doesn't end up working out. Mata potentially going to be first up to bat here on the inside of Showers. Takes down the Boombot and in the process is going to swing right after that. Flash just not hitting him in the way that it needed to. So Mata will be able to work his way forward. The Showstopper as well. And let's try to get a third. Maybe not. Eco will be able to finally deal with this volley. And at the same time, Steel works his way out. Exactly way short way. onto the site. I need to see the info work its way out here as well. Revealing Ye, putting him into a delicate position potentially. But he's able to keep himself solid here. Hiding behind decent cover. Swing works his way out from Ethan. The Aladrone's going to reconfirm the position of Ye. And now he's got to be careful. The Hunter Shuri locking him into that corner. There's nothing he can do except bow down to Hiko as he's taken out by that ult. Seb trying to lurk back in here. Probably not far behind either. He's waiting back over in the vent, trying to play from there. Seb with the first contact, though, finds the engagement. Gets a dink on the Hiko as well, so he'll be low after that engagement. Boy has to try and work his way in, but no, he is boy. Trying to hold himself off here at a short. We are going to see the wall work its way up, but he's able to still have himself an angle to work with here due to the fact the wall clips slightly onto that box and 
That portion gets taken out as a result here. Night attempt still going down. Boy tries to make a play, but he's countered out. Meanwhile, Fox able to hold their flank here. So either kill the flank watch, open up a flank opportunity for themselves to play back in from A short. Well, Spike down now. EBX needs something to go well for him here as there has not been a single light at the end of the tunnel. Finally, Seb with something, but it could possibly be a train. Watch yourselves inside of these tight corridors. As we get hit by anything, finally, we see the Killjoy ult come out. It's for Anbox here, defensive one, but Asuna steps up to the plate with a big swing, takes down two, showstopper as well. Can he get a third? No, it can't. And I also think that's gonna be the defuse for Ye. Gonna be close here. Is he able to get it? Locks it out and point zero. Anbox trying to play this off site, but the position of Asuna, they come back to bite them. In the meantime, Ethan as well catching a surprise kill on Boy, I believe, towards Lamps. So, uh, Suda having to go back in to check for that. Anbox actually making quite the effort to work their way back in, though, considering all the control that 100 Thieves had leading up to their plant. They're still very much in this, but Ethan, he's a rock here, sitting on the outside of the Lamps, and he can't be stopped. Vice to cause problems here. The fault line working its way in. Still stun out the player sitting in Lamps. Hiko can't do anything to stop that either. And Ethan, some unfortunate timing as he looks away just as Vice goes for the entry through the door. And this is going to be another close defuse here for Anbox. I'm pretty sure they've got this one this time. There'll be a lot more time left on the clock. 3.7 seconds. And it goes off without, with flying colors. 100 Thieves not able to get the frags early on necessary. And now onto the save round for them. They're able to get one, but Mata immediately refrags. Great way to aggression working its way out into the B mid here. The problem is they're being flanked, but I'm not sure if they've caught it just as of yet here. The push already working its way out, Garden onto the site. Oh no, here's another problem. Steel making some big impact here. He's gonna throw the cage out to allow him to escape and wrap back around. They know the Garden route is clear for the taking. Nitro's already got dark cover down on Hookah, so there's not gonna be an immediate retake from Mata and Vice. They have to wait this one out, potentially try to counter flank the players working their way over towards Long out onto the site now. And as well, the only other player they're going to have in this engagement is still way over on A, waiting for a call to jump in the portal. So this is going to be a potentially very one-dimensional retake from Anbox here. And that can cause some serious problems, considering they're going to have the dark cover capability. That's going to get re-thrown down. The attempt to hop out of it with Blast Packs. We're going to see the Hunter's Fury working its way out here to try and confirm this. But Mata making impact up until he gets behind the box, that is. Finally going down to Ethan. Info working its way out here as well. They're going to be able to act on that. But no. Steel taking down Boy, leaving it all on Vice. Your Vice with a great transfer, but unable to take. Well, yay. Forward contact. Oh, gets a lot of information on that spike. As soon as picked that up as well when he crossed. And yay, such a strong position, almost with a quad, but gets a triple instead. Still lights out when it comes to shutting down this push. 100 Thieves now with only Hiko and Asuna, but they're still going to give it a shot. Asuna walks in, he claims Boy's life for his own, and slams this spike down. Asuna waiting for the contact, and he's potentially going to get it very quickly, but the showstopper denied by the doppelganger, Mata taking him down and leaving it all on to Hiko here in a post plant. 1v3, does have both dark types if he wants to try and play off of that here, but no, he wants the contact instead, and that'll be a mistake. Vice takes him down, inbox secure a seventh, and are now well in the lead for the half, with one opportunity to really push that envelope. As whether the team's going to react to that or not is still yet to be seen. Only steel has been spotted, only one player seen, so no call is going to come in until this utility is used. Might be too late for Ye, but he's still able to go one for one. Problem is, though, we're in an even fight. 100 Thieves have full sight control. Great paranoia timing coming out here as well. That's going to blind out Mata, guaranteeing the kill for Asuna. Trade works its way in. Steel will get rezzed back up here as the chaos is going to continue, and we are still in a 4v4, all things considered here. Oh, treacherous now, but actually, full drones, or just straight up walking at 100 Thieves a handful of times. Now the aggression coming through for Ambox once again, this time on the pistol round, and they're able to make it work. Two big frags inside of showers. 100 Thieves say, okay, you guys want to play contact to showers every round? We can do that too. Nitro going directly to the inside here. Taking stance. Now Vice going to be able to sneak up in front of him. That jump will have been heard on the other side. Their flash point out, and it works. Do the right click on the jump. Be able to seal the deal against Night Steak. Ethan hears that, immediately turns tail, and they're going back. So you want to know how we got here. That's what Ethan's thinking right now. His beautiful fake there by Anvox. I mean, that was really the opportunity they needed uh, to try and get a uh, spike down. You see 100 Thieves already ready for the opposite push, but now the trades ensue. We're down to the 1v1. Steal the right click. So strong right now, and he also gets the ghost. 
very low HP for Vice. A single bullet deals the damage to take him down. Oh, amazing gauge here from Steel. That'll block out the flash points. The blast point won't Whoa! be able to know. Only where 100 thieves are lying and the entire squad currently on B is they're trying to force their way out of garden and it works. That means they're also going to have a firearm going into the later half of this round. Mata, possible cutoff here. He's able Jumps. to find Asuna. He's immediately going to vacate the premises. They know the spike's going down on A, and he'd much rather assist his team. Boy, potentially with a good lineup here against Steel, too. But Steel, man, he's been on fire today, and he's going to keep that going. Shutting down Boy on the inside of Showers. Keeping 100 Thieves in this retake. You know, the Endbox Ross are trying to fight aggression with aggression as they wildly swing two of their players out through short to try and take care of that retake. It does not pan out, though. 100 Thieves win the large majority of the fights. Well, soon though, oh, and this wall couldn't have come at better time. 100 Thieves immediately trying to deny that presence and forcing out at least some of the firepower from his opponents. Look at this play from Steel inside of his own cage to pick up two before going down. Great intel going their way as well. Who could control did work its way into the hands of Anbox, but that's all they got. Seb, the only player alive again is 100 Thieves completely shut down this take. They're going to take themselves onto a ninth round here. Well, Anvox get forceful with the Earth, or the Rolling Thunder, excuse me. Doesn't work out for him very well, though. We are going to have a plant here by Seb, so at least get some money off of that, but he can't find the frag onto Nitro. He's already rotated. Notice it, we got a three-player stack on the inside of Showers. Two holding back on short, waiting for notice here, but... Eight shells from Asuna gonna go in there a little bit too late, but thankfully the cover is there. Trade's gonna work themselves all over the place. Ultimately, it's brought down to the wire here. A couple players just left standing. Only one left standing here now for 100 Thieves. The pressure's enough. They get their way into the site. And Steel, the only player left standing. If there was gonna be someone to come out in the clutch, though, Steel might be the one to do it. He's been having a great match so far. Try to go for a more all-in sort of take here. Hunter's Fury out from Hiko, and he's got the lineup, but at the same time, there's another Hunter's Fury on the other side. Bit of a laser battle here between um. the two Sovas. And as well, Cosmic Divide working its way in. Suna won't pay any respect to that. Goes right past it, works his way forward with the Showstopper and shuts it down, or at least tries to shut down the push. Ultimately, not going to be able to get a lot of damage. Paint shells into the corner too. Sees the gun from Mata and gets a quick execution onto him. As 100 Thieves are continuing to put pressure on the Anbox, force them out before they've even begun their execute. You should run. And previous round, 100 Thieves backed off, let off the gas just a touch, but this time fighting fire with fire once again, and it's working out so well for them. Attacker Killjoy down now as Anbox attempt to work their way onto A. They push out of the dark cover. Vice with two nice shots and a triple on the round now, but Asuna here to still to hold onto his space. Able to get one, but now seemingly a plant possibility here for Anbox. All down to Ethan here for 100 Thieves inside of this one versus two. He is going to get the res down now, though, so they're going to know his location. Fault line through doesn't do too much, though. We'll just delay time and allow Vice to make it to plant. Still Don't rolling thunder ready here for Vice as well, so we could potentially chuck that out. It's going to go right towards heaven after he hears the noise. Ethan tries to dodge it, but just gets the edge of it. Forced into a corner and shut down by Vice himself. Eco left alone now on the inside of Heaven here, trying to play it off. Vice gets the close angle, but that's a mistake. He exposes himself, oh! and Eco gets the second as well. In the clutch, a 3k on the round. He knows he had to pop off for that one, too. Plenty of time left for this. These rounds together, and now we're here. They have to try and save. Steel's going to get some damage off as he starts to pressure down B long. Still has an opportunity in Fountain. Takes down Boy. Can go for two, and he'll do so. Might as well hold the door open for him if you're Anbox. Still have an opportunity to claim some lives over on A as well, as it's a feeding frenzy over this offense. Mata comes in with a rotated teams from the rest of the team oh. over the next couple moments there. Ethan with a good shutdown against Ye brings it all onto Mata here. Yeah, that round was not going Anbox this way, no which way or how. Even with those two frags coming in and grabbing that rifle with the Suna on flank, it's just too many people at too many different angles. And now 100 Thieves once again fully in control of the map here on Bind. Anbox need three to force us into overtime. And even if they can't, hey, as they start to force their way up short, oh man, Asuna, or excuse me, Mata, all the way out onto the field. It's actually Asuna with the frag, and Asuna with the long range RPG as well. The showstopper comes out to play, and it's an explosive finish. He goes even farther, paint shells in, deals damage to Seb, and it's Nitro that actually gets taken down as he was simply just manning the angle. Asuna continues to spray through the smoke and finds these frags.
no control over the spike even really to play off of here, sitting right in front of the portal. Seb gets himself out of the corner at least, and all of a sudden we've got a round in front of us with that pick here. We're into a 2v2. Under Thieves, okay, never mind. Shut it down very quickly. Ethan had 